everyone and welcome to Happy Trails Hiking. Thank you for joining us today on the next episode of our St. Louis Forest Park series. Today we are exploring the James S. McDonald Planetarium. Matt and I brought you to the outside of the planetarium on our walk around the east side of Forest Park and we showed you the Blue Hornet airplane that is right behind me, right there. So now we're going to head on in and I'm going to show you every free thing that you can do at the planetarium. Come on, let's go! The McDonald Planetarium is part of the St. Louis Science Center. We've broken the videos into two parts because there was just so much to show. The planetarium has a really great schedule. Um, the planetarium shows are not free, but they are really neat. Good thing to check out when you're here. Security alert. Permission to open airlock denied. Biometric identification indicates that you do not have an EVA clearance as you are not EVA certified. Please use the direct drive rover to carry out your experiments. Very cool. In the Mission Mars exhibit, you can take a look at how scientists would study Mars, as well as drive the Mars rover. <laughs> so it's a Mars rover and they have the command station right over there. So that's pretty cool that you can control the, the rover. That's pretty awesome actually and you can take pictures of yourself and things or your family. It's pretty cool. So this is a meteorite from Mars, and you can actually like touch it, which feels like a rock, but uh, it's pretty neat. to look in the mirror and trace around the star. Try not to touch the edges or you'll hear the buzzer sound. I've come up an, the stairs into the planetarium area and I'm not sure if this is free or not but they had the doors open and no one has told me no yet so I'm gonna walk around I'll let you know if it is not free to get up here but the exhibits up here are great too so the planetarium shows do cost money I'm not sure that um, if this area does as well
Normal. Just as soon as I found out I was normal, I found out that this part is not free. Down the steps we go. <laughs> area of the planetarium is not open to the public. Um, well, without paying a ticket. So um, I got asked to leave, and I did. So I hope you enjoyed the few shots that I got from that area. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll go on with the rest of the free tour. The main building of the Science Center and the Planetarium are connected by a very long hallway, which is also a bridge across the highway. I'll show you that in a minute. But they do have exhibits all the way along, talking about a timeline of the space program. So evidently the price to go into space depends upon your weight. So we're going to step on the scale and figure out how much it would cost me to go into space. Oh, that's a very big number. Wow, I'm glad I don't weigh that much. That's in American dollars. Ever want to walk over a major highway? This is uh, I-64 in St. Louis. Forest Park is to our right and the Science Center is to our left. And we're going to head over to the main building of the Science Center. We are actually facing west right now. Okay, horrific if you're afraid of heights. You can watch the cars go on underneath you. There was so much to explore and learn at the McDonald Planetarium. Please consider subscribing so you can see our next Forest Park adventure. Until next time, this is Kay from Happy Trails Hiking. Thanks for watching.